So this awesome rank in Lang Saskatchewan is going completely viral. And it's probably because it's one of the most unique ranks I've ever seen. The video that really popped off showed the, well, drawbridge that players use to get onto the ice. And that's sort of a consequence of the rink being in such a small space. So players get on this weighted bridge, it takes them down, and that's that. I was fascinated by this, and I really love old rinks. I don't know what it is about them. Part of it's Canadiana, but they just have so much character, and this one obviously takes that to the extreme. So I went and looked for other photos and videos. I started with the basics. Yes, this rink is in the town of Lang. It's a very small town in Saskatchewan. 200 people surrounded by fields for kilometers. Basically exactly what you'd imagine. You gotta love Canada. Uh, the town of 200 needs to have a community rank. Beautiful. There's almost nothing about this rink online. There's no like Google page for it, but it's this building right here next to the town's co-op. Doesn't even really look like a small town community rink from the outside. Like there's no sign with ice times, anything like that. But again, that's the charm. On the inside, we do of course have the weighted bridge. The idea being that the players step on it to get down to the ice, then it can be retracted and held up by a weight. Obviously, you'd need to clean the ice of the wood chips most likely after that. I also love the super small nets and I get the feeling that this rink probably isn't quite regulation size. Other than that, I did some looking through Facebook and people talked about how good the food is there, not shocking. But I also learned that the rink may be one of the oldest in Canada at nearly 100 years old. Some more interesting pictures here. You can see where the visitors sit over the bench, how people get down to the ice. I know there's a cantina somewhere, probably dressing rooms, perhaps. One thing everyone talks about is just how cold it is. Not surprising given Saskatchewan, but also look how nice that ice looks. No ride on Zamboni, they're still doing it by hand. I don't know, I just love everything about this. The old lights, the old wood. Hockey is so interesting because it's such an expensive sport, which needs a rink, something that's expensive and hard to build, but it's at the heart of Canada. Every town needs a rink. So to see how people adapt and do what they do to play the sport they love is really cool. To me. Now, I called the village of Lang to ask about the rink. They weren't able to get back to me yet, but I also did see that COVID's hit the Lang rink pretty hard. The rink basically relies on several fundraisers each year to keep operational. So I'm going to see if there's a way that we over here at the Eck channel can support the rink, maybe like sponsor it in a way. I don't know. I don't know what they need, if they do still need anything, but I'm going to try to look into that. And if anyone who's in the know watches this video, my email is very easy to find find Eckhart's letter at gmail.com. Obviously, I'm not looking for anything in return. Also, have you played in this barn? Let me know your experiences. I gotta say, I learned to skate in not a rink this old, but definitely an old rink. My kids, however, my son is in skating and going to do hockey next year. He's in basically a brand new facility. Obviously, the ice and everything is incredible, but it's missing some of the charm when you're playing in like a four pad versus, well, something with a lot of history and character.